Hey guys, today is July 7, 2010, and today I am asking, what makes Google so popular? Why is Google become this giant franchise that everyone loves in it? And I'm just was wondering and looking into it. Now I'm on a website right now called webarchive.org, and uh, this allows you to view websites from the past, uh, mostly popular websites like Yahoo, Dogpile, stuff like that. So, we look at 1998, which is the first record that they have of Google. When you went to Google.com in 1998, in Nove of November, you went and you saw this page. You said, saw it, said, well, there's a Google search engine prototype. Okay. And that was their, that, this was the page. You went to this page and you searched. And, and even then, even when it first came out, it had over 25 million pages in its search engine, which of course is much bigger now. But they had this is it was basic, but yet it was still good. You know, of course there wasn't that many websites on the web back then. Then you go let's go to ninety nine of January. And you could tell that they've updated it and said, Well you know what, this is now this is our thing is this is the Google. It's in beta but it's still Google, and we think it should work, you know. And again, see if they still have Stanford and Linux search right there. But why use, you know, all these stuff, you know, very basic, you know. Advanced, but still pretty basic. Let's jump to 2002. And you realize now in 2002 they've updated their site. The image isn't available because it's that old. They probably got rid of it. Um, but you can see that now they've actually created buttons for you to click on. But look at 2005. They've changed it from having buttons and, you know, basically just text now, you know. I'm sure they got an image. They still have Frugal. They've had Frugal. Frugal's been out for a while, um, for a couple years now. At this point, it's on six of January first. They've at they uh, from what I see, they are incorporating images. They you know they've started to do images and stuff like that. And at this point, they've added a new local section, so now you can see local news. You know, um, and you know they have images, groups, and so on. But now they have a new local section. That's nice. You know. So the I'm feeling lucky button. They've had the I'm feeling lucky button from the beginning, and I tell you that definitely helps out a lot. Go back again. Go to 2007. There you go. There's your stuff. You have your more section, which is blogs, books, frugal, groups. Because they really find this is at the point where they really find out. Well, people want to be able to when they search for something they want it right there news map blog when they want blogs you know people don't search for that many blogs people don't search for books that much people don't search for through fro uh, frugal that much uh you know patents you know patents is actually new they, at this point in 2007 okay 2008 this is when stuff really starts to kind of take off 2008, they've now got Gmail, which I believe may have still been in a beta version in 2008, I'm not sure, but at this point, they have Gmail. They're still using images, and at this point, they kind of got rid of everything right here and said, you know what, why don't we get rid of this stuff here and put it up here, because now they have shopping. They have shopping and Gmail, What you know, and they have documents, and they have finance, Groups, photos, reader. You know, out, this stuff has been out for a while, but it's not. You know, the, you know, like, at this point in time, documents was still kind of in a beta stage. You know, it it worked, but it was still kind of in their beta stage. It didn't work out as well as it does now. Right now, it works really well. Still need some work. They have blogs. You know, the, at this point, they have things that people want. Two thousand eight is really their takeoff point is when they started becoming popular because everyone realized that they had mail everyone used email 
So this is when their really takeoff point was. 2009. They don't. Oh, I can't access 2009. Try April. April 2009. April 13th, this was taken. 2009. Is when they really haven't changed anything. Like, you really see that, oh yeah, they got the new. See what your friends are doing now with Google Latitude, you know. Google Latitude, they had Google Latitude out, you know. You know, they have all this stuff out that says, oh, well, you know, you can do this and this and that. They really haven't changed the website out that much. They've probably been concentrating on more things because, you know, the website's really good. They, they're now attracting people. 2010 of January, which is Google's homepage today, that you can now, uh, just recently, uh, within the last few months, they've allowed you to put an image on your page. So, let's go here. You can't, you couldn't do that in the beginning of the year, but now you can. Now you can go and you can say, okay, well, I want to make my background on Google a image, and you can choose from a dozen images. Simply by, I have a Windows background, just by simply clicking on that and choosing an image. Uh, Google has created themselves into um, something that people need, which is what Bill Gates said in the first place. You can't, you have to survive by having people need you. And Google has create, made that company and said, well, when they came out with mail in 2008, they said, oh, well, now people like mail. Let's start doing mail. So that was a needed necessity. So people started going to Gmail because they said, well, now we like Gmail. Now there's a comparison. Shopping. Everyone loves shopping. News. People look at news all the time. Maps. People need directions. Videos. People want YouTube videos. And now Google, at the point of 2009, was merged they merged each other together and said well let's work with YouTube they didn't buy them out I don't think they merged together images people look at images every try and search images is better for you you know it's just that now Google has created itself to a needed part of daily life search engine people need but now Google is with the whole books people look at books financial records translate translates one of the hugest things that are out now because now you can get your stuff translated from any language you want into another language huge thing for the Nexus One phone that Google came out with scholar blogs now blogger.com they Google has merged themselves with other companies like such as blogger.com and you know the image stores and YouTube and stuff like that so this way it has that popularity so it's not just getting popularity from itself it's getting popularity from all these other sites as well because they are merged with them calendar photos and I, I've already done photos documents Google Docs is a great program I've talked about that before reader I use reader every day to look at my news feeds Google sites is needs work but it's a good what you see is what you get for beginners groups and I don't use groups that much and then you have even more and they're coming out with new stuff all the time. Going to Google Labs, going see they have Blogger right there, Calendar, Docs, Gmail, Groups. And it's just that they've created something that's a needed thing, and stretched themselves out so much that it's just Google's now become a necessity, and Google's companions are necessities. So it's just one Google is just one giant group of companies now. And that is why Google is so popular, and that is the history of Google. If you have anything that you would like to say uh, about Google, um, if you have any other things that you should fill in that I missed, please, in the description, or in the sidebar, in your comments, whatever you want to call it, in your comments, in the below, please post a whatever you want to say and talk about if you think Google's really good, if you think Google's on the right path or whatever, Link, um, I also put a link in the description to the archive uh, website and please rate and subscribe.